So I know you showed us the 64 and the 64 plus, and now we're talking about the 40 XLS, which is your newest chamber. And I, I, and, and I guess you'll share with us, you came up with this innovation because a lot of space issues for many of your clients in cities like New York, or out in California where real estate is super expensive. So can you share with us about your newest model that you guys have come up with? I love the design of this. Certainly. So as you've said, Eric, the real estate is very expensive in California and New York and a few other parts of Florida villages. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've listened to the space issue and we said, you know, why don't we take something that is circular and then we create an oblong shape but at the same time, give the proprietors an opportunity to have a greater ceiling clearance. So it would feel roomier inside, but at the same time, it would meet their needs for the, the real estate issue. So this is the design that we have. It's about 70 inch tall, okay, and then 87 inch length, and it's only 40 inch. So just imagine if a um, clinic had a space issue with a 64 inch by reducing it from 64 inch down to 40 inch it gave them the opportunity to bring that chamber uh, inside and not feel too filled up the room and here is a perfect solution the other thing that we have done here is we accommodated two chairs okay both recliners and only one recliner can be operated at a time so you have one person sitting here and the other person sitting right here. And imagine now you have the additional ceiling clearance. It gives that more spacious you know, feel. And on top of that, the greatest thing that we have added with this design is another window in the back. Ah. So just by adding that window with this low profile door and then additional window through which the light would enter from outside to inside, it doesn't feel constrictive at all. In fact, it feels more spacious than the 64 inch, simply because the light is entering into the chamber in a lot more capacity than you would on a 64 inch. Well, that's, that's fantastic. And so because of what's happening now in the marketplace, you listen to the customers, and now we got an innovative design that if you've been looking at getting a chamber, cannot fit it in, one, that's, a, that's a, a chamber that is upright, here's a perfect solution for you to bring it to the clinic. You said it correctly, yes. All right, All right. So, so anything else we want to know about this design? And I know one of the things we didn't talk about was the, the interface. The interface, yeah. yes. Very good, so one of the key things that we wanted to incorporate into all of our engineering design is the simplicity. Mm -hmm. As engineers, we have a tendency to put a system that gets way too complicated for users. So we have to restrain ourselves and say, wait one minute, not everyone is an engineer. You have to put things in a very simplistic interface where people would just press one button and so on and so forth and it would be perfectly fine. So with that, what we've done, we've taken this gigantic Tesla Plus screen okay. and we segmented them into four equal quadrants. And notice how simplistic these buttons are. You have top left quadrant, your temperature, top right quadrant, your 21%, which is a constituent of air, in one ATM, 70% nitrogen and 21% oxygen with some inert gases, and that's displaying right here. Bottom left quadrant, you have the 8% humidity, and that's because we are in frigid winter months in Chicago, as you probably can see from outside, mm -hmm. and it's very dry. But not to worry, because under tremendous pressure, the humidity would go a little bit up. Sure. And you also have the dual action AC to control the comfort of the, uh, the ambient. Followed by the bottom left right quadrant is the kilopascal temperature. I'm sorry, kilopascal pressure shown um, to people know that this is the pressure that you're running at. Notice that you have the three very simple buttons, the ionizer, which is the built-in ionizer producing the negative ion, mm -hmm. and then you have the light, simple as that, and you have the AC. So with this simple touch screen, you get to operate the machine, and yet it looks very elegant. All your pressures are here, 
1.3 ATA, 1.6 ATA, 1.8 ATA, 2.0. You have the communication with which you would be able to communicate from outside to inside. So we made it very simple and hence we achieved that simplistic design but pretty much everything is in your fingertip. Whatever you need to know, it's all here. So when it comes to actually training whether you're nurses or one of the staff members, it seems like it's a pretty easy process for them to go through to actually you know, operate the device. Absolutely. So we take the responsibility of training, the safety, and operational um, introduction to your staff, the clinic staff, and then we provide the training uh, to the staff um, where they get to operate these machines with us. So they would have their machine at their end, we would have the identical model at our end, and we go through each and every single feature, walking them through and making them feel comfortable so they too can feel confident as it would be shown through their facial expression to their patients. Very important. Absolutely, absolutely. We want patients to feel calm and relaxed and know that they're giving the best service possible. That's correct. So, you know, um, you know that's it's truly amazing. And again, if you're looking at getting a chamber, if you're exploring the market, um, get with Oxygen Health Systems, oxygenhealthsystems.com, and they give you a full a view of the chamber. Uh, Shad talked about it earlier. We can do an entire uh, 3D demo. So if you're not here locally in Chicago area, we can also do this for you if you're remote and you can come here and make the time to help you make the best decision possible.